and following our success last week on completing Titanfall 2, this week we're going to have a crack at Halo 5. Now, I've been playing some of this so that you don't all um, get horribly bored uh, by my inability to play shoot 'em ups. So, hopefully, uh, Mixer will behave for us tonight and uh, we can actually get some, uh, get some gaming in. He said, hopefully. So, let's see where we are. So, this is Halo, Halo 5. Go. Let's go for the solo campaign. Resume our plot of reunion. And yes, you will notice that I have found a skull, uh, no skulls, and only one mission intel. Oh well, that's. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what did you really expect? You haven't really come here uh, for the good gaming, have you? <laughs> if it's your uh, kind of thing. Let's see. Deploying in three, two, one. Here we go. Let's see if we can remember what the controls are to this game and work out which way is up, which way is forwards, and uh, how actually how best to play the game. All right. Ah, oh, yes. Halo 5, one of those interesting ones, but we actually have people on our side. This is my small team. This one, that one, and then this shady guy over here. Go. They all have all have names. We don't get to name them. You answered her call. That's just the names they go. And it being well, uh, Halo Five, uh, while I am relatively certain that there is uh, plot, uh, basically what we're doing is we are uh, wandering through it to shoot people. What I might do is just pause here and see if I can actually turn on the subtitles for you does this thing have subtitles um subtitles on there we go there we go i've come to bring her home if you understood what she has become you would not speak of such a this is the uh thing about uh, about halo 5 is that well i'd be back all day uh, I'm putting up a shield, that's just that's it. The thing about Halo 5 is that while there is some sort of plot where you play Master Chief or you play uh, somebody else um, trying to stop Master Chief, by and large it doesn't actually matter the uh, We are going from place to place to which is kind of all you need to know about it. That weapon and that top right is really doing a number on me. Not going up to my side at all. And I like the fact that my teammates don't appear to if it hit the broad side of a barn. Um, but again, I guess, I guess that this is the kind of weapon that uh, you wouldn't use coming into this. Uh, oops, he's over there now. Uh, into this place if you possibly could. Finally, one of my teammates has decided that it's going to uh, jump over and actually make it nice and useful. I, on the other hand, decided that I wasn't going to be useful and that actually falling off the edge was better. That's what I decided to do right there. Um, yes. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, so... Um, uh, when, should, when you see her, you intend to... Well, I don't know what we intend to do. Uh, what we're doing, uh, this is something about Cortana. Now that's the, uh, uh, that's the, uh, the original robot, not the new Microsoft AI. Uh, when her name comes from, it's Halo. Uh, for those of you that don't know. <laughs> so, uh, if you don't know where have you been for the last, uh, uh, what, for the last ten years, I guess, the length of time um, that Cortana has been, uh, been a thing. Uh, Cortana, of course, the much more successful um, follow-up to the rather irritating Microsoft Paperclip. Um, if you've never had the joy of the Microsoft Office Paperclip, 
then call yourself lucky. There is a lot of uh, a lot of memes about online. Can I fuck off this paper clip? Was the most unhelpful piece of AI uh, that I think I've ever come across. In fact, gen generically, not having it was uh, not having it enabled uh, tends to make life much more easy uh, than actually uh, enabling it. It was designed to help you uh, write like documents um, and to make your uh, technology uh, to write documents. Where is she? Search documents and tell you how to write a certain, you know, it would say things like, I see you're writing a formal letter, shall I help? Um, and it would normally say this by the time you've actually finished writing the formal uh, letter and thereby it would no use at all. But I guess the thing about AI is you've got to start something that no one can have an algorithm. Where's the other one? There's another one over there. And the, the thing about Halo is that you can just chug around shooting at things. You don't actually need to do uh, what it is you're trying to do. As long as you keep going in the right direction. But these are... Oh, you're going to say that very good. Exploding. Um, the mantle of responsibility oh, belongs to the eternal war. And the other we're going to play Cortana. Um, for those of you that aren't really following the plot, Master Chief, um, who is the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the miscellaneous character uh, that we are playing in this, uh, rescues Master Chief, uh, rescues Cortana, has her in his head for a while, um, and then, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, let's see. Oh, we can change our gun there. Just pick that one up. Uh, has the Cortana poking around in his head for a while, and uh, that oh, um, has uh, Cortana in his head for a while. Um, to the guys, the guys in the sky. Turns out she's possibly a piece of alien tech. Uh, then she ran away, and now we are here trying to find out what's happening. Uh, I, I haven't actually really played, I've not actually, uh, while I did play uh, some of the original Halo, some of my favourite early gaming memories is failing at uh, co-op Halo back in the day when you didn't have to play online like you do now with your mate in a different, uh, or you have to log over, or now as you do, you have to log over two TVs, uh, two Xbox TVs, you can actually play side by side on the couch. And if somebody was better than you, you could just nick their controller. Uh, not that I ever did that, of course. I was always a complete gentleman, and as you can see from my um, massive ability at this game, I never had the need to, uh, uh, to steal anybody's controller. Ow. That is not my friend. You'd have think that being as we are here to save Cortana, that. Uh, that these things would stop standing our way. And of course, it's the future, so all of the weaponry is uh, is, is glowing. Um, we don't. Uh, everything seems to be some sort of strategy. And uh, unlike in Titanfall, we don't seem to get a weapon with enough accuracy to make headshots uh, helpful. Nor do we, All clear. as I'm as I'm noticing, um, have weapons, or indeed have uh, uh, bad guys that are actually able to, to be shot in the head. They don't actually seem to have um, useful heads to speak of. If I remember, yes, you can't jump with those large guns. Um, I'm guessing it's so that you don't carry it with you and make the game too easy. Okay, so. Your time has passed. Um, your your battle force is dead. Your battle um, Ah! <laughs> uh, so we've got some. If there was a clue when you get things to hide behind, but there is a big battle about to start. 
uh, my problem with these things is that I'm never accurate enough to actually do a decent amount of damage. And what I tend to end up doing is uh, running out of ammo which aren't anywhere near the top. These little dogs, they are kind of cute, actually, um, when they've got their pistols on, but they do... Okay, where's that? It's going to make you excited a bad day. It does make you kind of long for the ridiculous stuff that you're hiding for. Um, whereas Halo is a much more serious shooter, much more high to go and die. Oh, and welcome to uh, The Assassin, and thank you for the follow. Uh, welcome to Jennifer in the Assassin. Uh, as you can see, we are uh, playing Halo and playing uh, very Halo. We start that in all directions at the moment. One of our teammates is down, which is going to do as much good. The people around here are going to be able to do as much good as possible. But of course, he has friends. Um, but I just, I just accidentally ordered my teammates to, to all round on him. It wasn't my intention. Um, what I'm actually doing is destroy the fire so that my teammates can actually pop up some of the others. Ah, the game is very loud. All right, one pause. Let me just have a look. Um, audio, uh, music volume, let's just take that down. Uh, effects volume, we don't need those, do we? Let's take those right the way down. Um, we don't need a voiceover volume. Let's uh, take all that all the way down. Uh, is that better? Is that better, uh, Pumped Agenda? Can you actually now hear me better? Does that seem to be working for you? Or have I successfully also managed to turn down my volume while I was at it? Excellent. Excellent. And welcome, uh, Pumped Agenda, uh, to, uh, to the stream. Wow, that guy is quite big. Let's just hide here for a bit. Not like the hero we're meant to be emulating. And there's more of these flying dog things that just sort of fly, uh, flown in from the ship. We appear to be fighting some sort of strange transformer because the more you hit him, bits fall off him. Just up there. If you can keep hitting him, uh, though I am out of ammo. Um, all weapons out of ammo. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, well, we'll take that because, frankly, any any port in a storm. Um, that one's out of ammo. Is there another? Is there another weapon that I can swap out for? Um, otherwise, we're going to have to do this <laughs> with with this tiny little pea shooter, um, which is not going to go our way in any way at all. Ah, uh, he's on fire. Um, come over here. Let me just draw you away. Ow. Ow. Let me just draw you away from our teammate. There we go. All right. Get in there and heal. Heal them, heal them, heal them, heal them. Excellent. Because you guys at least appear to have weaponry that works, whereas I don't. Um, and guess what? I have also have ammo on my secondary weapon. Have a have a grenade um well, that seemed to be quite successful <laughs> uh which is uh better than anything else i've done run away uh yes that is indeed the best piece of advice um that uh, that anybody could have given me however if we run away uh ooh, that looks like a weapon that looks like a weapon let's see if we can get a weapon um no but it has added ammo to one of my other weapons so we might be able to aha here's another weapon let's swap out for that oh well now that's quite an effective weapon um that does a quite a bit of damage which is quite nice um though is now also out of ammo can we get this guy oh he's gonna that's not that's not gonna that's 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 quite painful that was very painful Come on, teammates, heal me before he notices you. And then, 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 that's just, he doesn't seem to like me very much. 
I have a feeling he's a little upset about the fact that I just blew him into tiny little pieces. So I'm hoping they will heal me out of preference. Oh no! Oh no! With total party down! Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, where's it started us? It started us at the arrival of this guy. Um, and there are two of them. There's two of them. That might explain why we haven't done uh, so well. Oh dear. Uh, so these... Uh, so what we have to do is avoid this guy when he goes on his killing spree with his uh, submission is all we require of you. I'm sorry. I, it's not my kink. Thank you very much. Go away. Go away. Stop it with your big sword. I'm not into it. I'm going to run away. That looks, like a, that looks like a dead end. Don't hide in dead ends when they're trying to kill you, Phil. That's not going to go well for me. All right. Let's see if we can just... I'm going to stand up here where he can't get me, and I'm just going to shoot him. Um, it, you might say that this is the coward's way out, and you'd be right. Ooh, aha. Uh -huh. However, um, I can swap for that weapon, which is a shotgun, which might do us a bit more, uh, a bit more of a, a, a useful thing. Let's see if we can climb. No, I can't. Ah, oh, yes, I can. Uh, thanks to this guy who, who I can't actually reach with the shotgun. That's not very helpful. Uh, this is not the place I want to be. Um, it's also not the place I want to be trying to reload a shotgun. Um, he's going to... Ow. Yeah, okay. So, while the shotgun is a powerful weapon, he's also got a big sword. A big sword. Request assistance. Yep. Yep, I would like assistance. Yeah, that's right. You just stand there and heal me while he murders you. And I'm going to run away. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I know that that guy is now requesting assistance. But really, standing that close to a guy with a sword. What was he thinking? Um, there we go. Um, so while we, while we are still in distance, let's just shoot this guy from up here. And then hide and move away as the fire lands. And then rinse, wash, and repeat. There we go. There we go. We just shoot him idly and then run away from those rather deadly, uh, rather deadly other attacks. Um, there we go. It's got that thing out of the way. Um, I mean, these things are quite brutal. I'm guessing the by now the game expects that you are actually learned how to play the game. Um, as opposed to uh, simply being, ah, eek. Uh, yes, that was in fact a real life eek. If you've ever wondered what that noise sounds like, that was it. Oh, he just disintegrated me. That's that's what just happened. I just got disintegrated. Um, that was that. I think the technical term for the amount of damage I took there was a crap ton, a literal metric crap ton of damage. And he's got his sword out again. And he's coming right at me. And I am going to bravely, bravely run away. Bravely, bravely run away and hide up here because he doesn't appear to be able to climb stairs, um, which is a good thing. I also need to totally remember that this thing needs to reload and he's gone he's gone was that like an emergency teleport or was that a um so we've just got this other one uh to deal with a secondary uh big stompy um who's moving quite slower than the other one um they don't kind of get problematic until they level up out of ammo again out of ammo again all right, so what we're going to have to do is, I think, charge this guy. Um, all weapons out of ammo. Let's just try that one, and let's just try that one. Ah, now, this is the one that upset him very much the last time, where we um, managed to basically uh, turn him into a pile of mulch. Oh, well, that went much better than it did the last time. 
um, so we can actually move forward. Do you know what, people? We have successfully, successfully killed, killed the first one. Um, oh, we've got some of these jumpy, teleporty creatures. They are simply annoying. Um, they tend not to do a lot of damage, um, but generally there's a lot of them. And they appear all over the place. And then they portal away. Some sort of cube. Um, let's have a look. All right, where are we going next? Up the hill. And like, uh, like in other games of its type, this is very much a, if you don't know where you're going, uh, look for uh, where the bad guys are coming from, uh, where the bad guys are. And um, no, we probably want that one. Does it still have ammo? Yes. All right, there we go. Oh, look, Katana can hear us. She can't believe that we're here. Um, a forerunner world, designation Genesis. Because, of course, they would use um, the same kind of designations as the Bible. Um, a single mind and a few million bodies. Um, ah, bridge. Uh, pulled into slip space. Access to the domain, foreign systems that spans the known galaxy. But there's lovely. Um, uh, water of life for AIs. That doesn't in any way sound dodgy. Um, one more to go. All right, so Cortana wants us to go and trigger an activation sequence. Well, I mean, who were we to ignore a AI uh, that was once in our heads? Um, do we want to swap for that? Let's, there we are. Well, swap for that because it appears to have a bit more ammo. And let's run up here. Somewhere up here, there'll be a, there we are. Here's our little activation sequency thing. Um, now, what I don't remember is what button you press to activate it. Um, ah, X it says so, right at the bottom of the screen. There you go. Isn't this fancy? We've never seen one before, but apparently we know exactly how to activate it. And these things open and give us access to a new place. And of course, it would be too much to hope that this new place was a place of serenity and of re relaxation. Uh, so, it, long term planning. Hello, Elusive Elf, and welcome to the channel. Um, long time no see, old friend. Uh, welcome to uh, Zen Plays Games Badly on Halo 5. And uh, Cortana is, is talking a lot, uh, and I don't really care about the plot. Um, so, uh, we're just going to keep uh, babbling on and we're going to go find something to shoot at, I think. Because that's kind of what you play Halo 5 for, really, isn't it? Is things you can shoot at. Gateways on the other side of these canyons and the Warden is trying to stop us. No shit, Sherlock. In fairness, you summoned us and you knew this was going to happen. The thing you haven't done is given us... Uh, something nice that too. Okay. Hello. Um, all right. So maybe you have given us something nice we can play with up to ascend. Oh, so we're going to send out the, was I meant to wait for my teammates? I'm playing without you. Um, well, uh, I didn't know that you had a Halo 5. Um, and I can't get up through this hole. Maybe I'm not meant to go through this hole. Um, Let's see. Uh, do we need to shoot this? Ah, well, that seems to be a bit more. Ah, right. We appear to have some sort of puzzle. Oh, this thing's shooting it. Some sort of protectric turrets. Um, so let's just keep shooting at them until they stop shooting at me. Because I'd really rather they didn't shoot at me. 
better maybe next time. Well, so do you actually have Halo 5 then, uh, uh, Elusive Elf? Because I thought you had the other one. When we had the conversation about what games you had, you said that you had the other one. Or one of the others. Smiley face doesn't answer the question. But I'm sure um, it's, it's Halo 5, so presumably I could just invite you to come along and join in uh, if you wanted. You would have to put up with my incessant chatter over Mixer, um, but uh, I can't see that being too much of a problem. Is that thing dead? No, that's, that, that thing's dead. All right, so where are we going? Um, well, I'm going to guess on the grounds that this was uh, where the things were in the way that this is where we want to be going. Uh, do we want to go up? Up, up, up. Um, up, up. Nope, that's just a cascade of light. So let's go down towards the light then. Um, ah, there we are, we're being shot at. Your stream wouldn't be too different from... Well, yes, one of the problems I do have at the moment is that... Don't go into the light. Um, uh, no, going into the light is actually a generally considered a bad plan. Uh, but I was rather hoping that it was the kind of game back in the old days where um, if you just kind of ignored the plot, you could find shortcuts and just pootle along... Um, on the surface rather than and we'd have to fight these things um, especially being as we don't really have any kind of dodge capabilities in these things uh, but yes as I was saying the stream um, hasn't been that great recently uh, it's been a combination of uh, problems with Mixer um, which is the streaming software that Microsoft use and uh, wow wow that that didn't go well for one of my did, did they just literally just stand in front of these things shooting it? And hello to Douglas, to Dougie, I shouldn't call him Douglas, um, uh, who is uh, watching, I uh, presumably watching the stream uh, somewhere. Um, uh, but yes, one of the problems is, is that uh, I'm missing a network cable between this and uh, my gigabit network. So it is running over Wi-Fi. Now, uh, you're right, that's not a good way to uh, stream. Uh, I'm being hit by something, but uh, I figured that better to stream than not. So uh, that's what I've gone for. And mice. Uh, uh, yes, um, we have also, th there is a rather amusing story. Uh, thank you, Pom's Agenda. Uh, that my Xbox controller... Uh, is not as responsive as it once was because mice have eaten the rubber on the uh, on the handheld. Uh, they have uh, taken it upon themselves uh, to uh, to make uh, so they've nibbled it. Clearly, my hands were uh, covered in something that they thought was uh, was tasty. Uh, and they've uh, sort of nibbled little p bits out of the controller. Uh, this has uh, made for... Ow, 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 ow. Uh, this has made... Uh, uh, this has made for a rather interesting uh, gaming experience because I've actually got ridges uh, on, the, on the controller. And thank you for the follow, uh, Best Starfish 15 And welcome to the channel of Zen Plays Games Badly. Um... And as you can see, I am uh, busily playing games badly uh, because it's it's just me. I, appear, I did have companions when I started this uh, mission. Uh, they all appear to have lost their their starships in the in the process. And I'm I'm here just uh, trying very hard to shoot all these things and not die on the way. Um, and this is playing uh, Halo Five. Uh, where we are going to rescue Cortana from uh, something or other. And those are my teammates that have just apparently uh, jumped past me. 
and we're being shot at over here by something. Um, I think we're being shot at by some minions or other over here. There we are, minions. Uh, minions of the Warden, whoever that is. Um, which I could have told you if I'd been paying attention to the plot, which I wasn't. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing about Halo 5, uh, rather in breaking with uh, modern game gaming tradition, is that what we don't have is a form of uh, levelling or XP or, or of improvement of any kind, really. Uh, what, we, what we have instead uh, is increasing uh, sort of weapon power, uh, but even then, uh, even then, uh, that will depend on what you've picked up and how you've managed your, your weapons and your, uh, and your ammo. What is, uh, it, and it, it does kind of break with uh, other games, even uh, Titanfall 2, for those of you that are interested, you can, uh, you can see me completing that game, much to my surprise and anybody else that was watching uh, on the YouTube channel. Uh, well, you will be able to when I when I get around to uploading it. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Elusive Elf, uh, 1987. Welcome uh, to following Zen Plays Games Badly. And I apologise for putting far too many ers and ums in uh, this time. There I go again. One of the things that I do find quite difficult with streaming, especially when you're trying to solve a complicated puzzle is also continually speaking. Some people have said that I should get a camera so people can see my face, but why on earth would people want that, really? Uh, just be enjoying the fact that all you can hear is my dulcet tones. So if we come through here, does that look like a plan? Uh, ah, right, I am being shot at again. Uh, therefore, this is definitely the way I need to be going. I'd just be glad that all you've got is my dulcet tones and you don't have to put up with my, my ugly mug uh, staring at you while I do this. So this, uh, this part flying through the canyons, if you can see those uh, yellow, uh, yellow and green dots over there, they are my companions. Uh, we all did have ships at the start of this mission. They appear to have had theirs destroyed. Uh, I tend to play the rather slowly, softly, softly catchy monkey approach, whereas they just rather uh, charged into these lasers. <laughs> uh, Dougie wants to see my face uh, because I'm gorgeous. I, I, well, tell Master Douglas uh, that I thank him for the compliment, uh, but uh, the cave, which is where I am, Agreed. Uh, thank you, Pumped Angel. Uh, though one of the problems with that is it would mean getting a, a backdrop and a decent camera to do those kinds of things with. I have been looking into getting a Logitech camera and somewhere comfortable to actually game from. Though at the moment, mostly what I'm doing is lying comfortable on the sofa in my in my Zen cave, where I can actually uh, nice shooting. Okay, so if we land here, Zen cave, yes, yes. I'm going to guess this is where we get out. Does anybody know how you get out of these things? There we go. Uh, a Zen cave. I am Zen. This is my cave. Where I have my Xbox set up, where I have my gaming uh, rig set up. Cortana, the exit, Kelly, this is where the go. Almost there. Almost there, cries Cortana. I bet you that's not the first time she said that to Master Chief. There we go. Wait for all my teammates to portal over as they do. Rude. <laughs> it's only rude if you make it rude. Only rude if you make it rude. Checkpoints, so that's going to mean we're about um, after she crashes. You don't think she's here? He's here now, late as usual. Let's see where else we can we can find. Ooh, cutscene! 
No, I've turned off the game game uh, because apparently they were quite loud coming over the stream. Uh, so we can try turning them on a little if you prefer a bit of game sound. All right, let's uh, let's let's have a a bit of a play. Let's turn that on, uh, that on. I just put them on quite low, and see if that that helps. Does that work better for you, Elise? Develop a little bit of game change. Make you feel. There we go. It's all right. Let it not be said. You loading up, Commander. The cutscenes have sound. I've just turned the sound on, uh, on the uh, agenda, the time we reach so that uh, Elusive Alp so could enjoy it. Right. Here we all are without our helmets on, uh, apart from, of course, Master Chief, so who never takes a target dossier on the Arbiter when you wrote Tony. I do like how, even ago. though this is basically body armor, you recommended the, uh, the female I body armor is still look. shaped in such a way so as you? to uh, clearly Things mark change. her out as female. And I see absolutely no reason for it, but there we go. We just can't leave it alone. The Arbiter engaging combat. So this is an Arbiter. That's basically a big, stompy alien of the world. In the earlier versions of Halo, the Arbiters were things we fought. And now we're fighting sort of a various version of the aliens that have broken away for religious reasons from the first lot of aliens. And we're still fighting them. Because otherwise, I guess Halo wouldn't um, make any money. You know. The years of peace of Halo would be a very boring game, wouldn't it? Unless, of course, they actually let you just sit around and build them a couple of battle cruisers and fly them into battle. That'd be quite nice. I've often thought that when it comes to games like this, the they always attempt to give you some form of uh, advancement but they never really get round to it at least in halo they've just kind of gone well why bother why bother at all here you are you don't need advancement at all just have a gun keep shooting <laughs> dougie has started ranting about boob armor and about how stupid and dangerous it is um, uh, well, yes, indeed it is. Um, Arbiter units. Am I now playing an Arbiter? Uh, who knows? Um, so for those of you wondering uh, who haven't, who are just tuning in to the stream, uh, for those of you wondering why I keep reading out your messages, it's because the way the Mixer stream is stored, it doesn't store the chat. So when I upload it to YouTube and people come along and listen to it, which I hope they do, they end up with me randomly laughing and answering questions uh, without any idea what the question actually was. So I've started reading out what you're, what you're putting in the chat so that people can hear it and see it. And of course, then your words are stored on YouTube forever because the internet doesn't forget. Let me just take a moment to do one of those things that while we're not being uh, attacked, we're not being attacked, are we? No, we're not. Why are we not being attacked? I'd just like to draw your attention to how pretty that is. Uh, isn't that the kind of scenery that you could just kind of go on holiday for? A couple of shooting stars coming down. We've got some interesting alien species, some trees clinging to the rocks, and a nice little place just there for a picnic. A nice little fishing rod. A Douglas the Bosun. Boo Bomber is sodding stupid, it makes no sense. Um, it appears Douglas was so annoyed about the uh, Boo Bomber comment that they have made their own account just to inform us all of how stupid Boo Bomber is. And let's be fair, Boo Bomber is stupid. All it's going to do is chafe and chafe in the bad way. And any actual hit against it is going to do more percussive damage to the chest of the individual. That's assuming, of course, that it, it's, it's got any structural integrity at all. At all. Grunt for the Covenant 
who is over there. Oh, right, if I've been paying attention rather than ranting about boob armor, I might have actually successfully snuck up on this small horde that I've just merrily wandered in while admiring the, the scenery and ranting about boob armor. Uh, Jenkins says use the cannons. I would indeed use all the cannons if I had any. Uh, what I have is this tiny little pistol. Pew pew! Uh, oh, I now have a stinger. That's slightly more useful. Uh, and this this gun, which is actually quite useful, except tends to run out of ammo relatively quickly uh, in these kinds of levels, where it is just horde after horde of these tiny little irritating things. Yeah, come on, heal me. Heal me, thank you. Right, let's just get that guy. Did you see that guy that's jumping around with a rocket launcher? There he is. This one up here. Go away. Oh, the shield. That's just not cricket. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh, that's a, that's a guy that's on my side. There he is. They are. Smack him in the face if it doesn't work the first time. There we go. Smack that one in the face and that one in the face. There we go. If at first you don't succeed, smack them till they're dead. Is what my mother used to say. Um, wasn't very good at disciplining my mother. Right. Uh, <laughs> let's just... Looks like you could use some sieges <laughs> and morale. Uh, yes. Uh, in, in, indeed, in this situation, speeches and morale would definitely, definitely go my way. And, of course, my favourite gun is out of ammo. Of course, it's out of ammo. There we go. Does anybody actually remember what button it is to... Uh, uh, to reload in Halo because I can't for the Watch life the of me remember. Uh, here's the reload button. Uh, indeed, Master Boson, uh, Douglas has uh, reminded me that the reload button is in fact called the reload button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's nice to know that I've got such supportive uh, friends that are following me on my channel and giving me this useful advice tis the reload button i wonder if it's a shoulder button no that's a bomb that's a grenade that's don't go that way i you, otherwise you'll die all right which anyway okay which way are we going which way are we going does this one not have a hud we don't appear to have any kind of um any kind of direction about where it is we're meant to be going kind of wandered off the plot a little and there's nothing coming at me and I can't work out. Aha! There we go. There's a little ammo refill thing so we can we go pick up the stinger. We used to be able to deal wield them. I don't know what's happened to that. Oh. I'm going to guess that the reason that that's there is because that's, that's, a, that's, that's an automatic weapon. That's an automatic cannon, and I'm dead. Uh, I would like to call for assistance, please. Uh, please run back and save me. I am your captain. Save me, save me, thank you. Left. Um, I, I, I like the fact uh, that you're all joining in and enjoying my inability to play this game. Um, these, these guys are all over us. Oh, I just hid with this guy. I thought he was on my side. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, never mind. Uh, that'll teach him. Okay, did we get them? No, there they are. There's some more of them over here. Down, 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 down. Get out of the way, little, little squeaky thing. Thank you. Oh, but the reason that's not working is I appear to be out of ammo. All those that are surprised that I am already out of ammo, wave your hands and use the grape shot. If I had any kind of grape shot, I, I, I really would. I really would. Okay, which way are we going? Um, so we kind of came down here. There's some weaponry, there's some weaponry, there's some... We have we been this? We've been this way. Uh, stairs, let's go up the stairs. 
up the stairs. There's the shield. There's a path carved into the cliffs that here. looks. There's a path carved into the cliffs here. Uh, so this will be this one then. All right. Okay. Can we just pause? They just said there's a path carved. That is not a carved path. It does indeed look like I have. Uh, I can only apologise for the crew. <laughs> yes, all of these, these crew, are not actually very good at their job. This is not a carved path, okay? This is a weathered path. Now, these are clearly carved. This, not a carved path. Carved, not carved. Carved, not carved. And you can tell that it's not a carved path because, because... It doesn't actually have any soft sides. You would expect a little kind of stone dip in the center from the millions of years of use. All quiet here. Best keep moving. Look. Yes, there are dead elite. There are, in fact, dead elites. You're right. Um, I would hope that they stay dead, frankly. Uh, there we go. Uh, more, more weaponry. More weaponry. Arbiter is an ally. So Arbiter is an ally. Oh, right, okay, so we... That's a little interesting detail, a little mouse there. Anybody see it? The cabin opens are you are you actually alive? No, but whatever that whatever just shot me is alive. So where did that come from? Ow. Whatever it is, it's quite powerful, and I think it's up there. Ow! All right, there are a lot of them. There are indeed a lot of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna back up a link. Not for long. No, probably. I mean, these little ones I can see. But where is the guy with the sniper rifle? Where is the guy with the sniper rifle? Because that's the one that's been doing the damage. I still kind of expect. When playing this, ah, drop pods. So they are literally just dropping in out of nowhere. I still kind of expect, even though I, I've been playing at this for a while, that uh, that I would have some sort of double jump. And I don't. So I keep looking at these jumps thinking, that's okay, I can make that. Um, and clearly I can't. Right, this guy, oh. He's not all over me, there was in fact somebody else. Standing there. Yeah, just heal me. Heal me. Alright, we've. He's up there. But we can't actually hit him. Because we don't have a weapon that's strong enough. Oh well. Oh, we are out of ammo. Die already. Now see, this is one of those times where I'm actually grateful that I have a team. Because, really. I'm not very good at this, and they are probably doing much more damage to these things than, than, than I ever would. And without them, I probably wouldn't, uh, wouldn't survive. Um, I mean, there have been a couple of times when I've been disintegrated, as you've already seen. Get out of my way. Um, and you. It's a far more, far more effective attack to charge them and hit them in the face. That kind of gives you, um, uh, hi, beat Halo 1, 2, 3, and 5, uh, can I join? Well, um, welcome, uh, the 66, uh, Devil 909. Uh, I don't actually, uh, co-play, uh, yet, mostly because, uh, it, co-playing with other people really shows uh, exactly how bad I am. At least this way, there is some sort of uh, vague hint that it might just be the game that's hard and not actually me being useless. Playing with other people, however, would definitely show you exactly how bad I am at these kind of games. So, uh, thank you for the offer. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn you down at this time. Maybe one day when I actually learn how to play these games, and don't just spend, like I've just done, uh, 20 seconds running in a circle trying to find something to shoot. Uh, then it might be worth uh, co-playing with somebody. Uh, but right now I can't see. There's a perfect example, really. 
I can't see that it's worth doing. But uh, feel free to enjoy the stream. It's going to get everybody dead. Because they're just going to run up, heal me, and die. Here we go. <laughs> um, perfect example of why it is I don't co-play with others. Uh, but welcome to the stream anyway. Uh, the 686, uh, the devil. Okay, so we're going to try that gully again. The cabin opens up here. Uh, the Keep cabin the opens up here. Well done. Oh no shit, range. Sherlock. Let's see. Now that I've worked out how I actually focus this weapon, let's see if we can find the uh, the one that's... Because that is a ridiculous amount of damage that we're taking just from, from that one shot. I don't think that I've got a weapon that can reach that far is the problem. So the only way of actually doing it is probably... Ah, there we go. We change to the sniper rifle, which the game has, in fairness to it, handily placed so that we can actually use the sniper rifle. Uh, then this might make this level a little easier. There we go. And there's one up here. Boom. Do you know what? Using the, the game-provided sniper rifle has made this quite a bit easier. I should probably have done that the first time round. There we are. We're not being shot at by these, uh, by these large, these large guys anymore. All right. Let's see if we can see who's down here. Now we know we're going to get some drop pods. There they go. I'm going to come in and um, mess up uh, our day. Get out my way. We're going to run away from these. I'm going to try and get some high ground while there's still. Uh, shot in my sniper rifle because if I can get some high ground I might just be able to camp these people boink um, bonk there we go rather like that one of the things that I am passable with uh, given time uh, is the sniper rifle it turns out by the way in Halo 5 the B button is not as I was imagining the crouch button, but actually this strange um, hyper speed jump thing uh, that we have. It is actually a click of a button that uh, uh, that leads to crouch. There we go. Ooh. Let's see if we can take him out. That's one down. And he's going to keep running because he's going to steal the gun. But that's okay because it means we know where he is. There we go. So that's him down. And oh, out of ammo! Boo, boo. Push forward, Osiris. That's the Red thing about right. the decent guns is that they always run out of ammo much before you're actually finished playing with them. So we're gonna need um, we're gonna need to uh, change our secondary weapon out. Now let's just, just sort of plow our way through these. We are. Oh, can we actually? Can we use that? Operate the tunnel. Oh, no. We can't actually. Oh, we can actually detach it. There we go. That's going to make it much more fun. Uh, but not if I stand actually near the exploding barrel. Go. Okay. Wait for my shield to recharge. And then let's go for a wander up here. Let's see if we can make somebody's day quite bad. There we are. You can go away. You can go away. Go on. Pop off. And you. Out of ammo. Out of ammo. Oh, go away. You strange explodey thing. These are... Wow. Wow. Did I just... Did I just get disintegrated? No. I just clipped out of the scenery. That's okay. So those strange things... Um, their life's mission appears to be to carry these bombs in their hands and then explode. This they tend to do successfully while charging at you. So, where is he? Ah, oh, right, maybe we can... Ow! Ow! 
Go away. I was going to take that gun. I was going to take that gun. And you. Look. Go away. This is my party and you're not invited. Alright. So give me this. Give me this. Detach this. And let's go and say hello to these people around here. Who are being awfully unpleasant about all sorts of things. They are... That'll teach you to be awfully unpleasant, won't it? We've got a phantom. I mean, good. Oh, you mean there's a phantom firing at us? Well, that's a bad idea. There we go. Chased it away. Let's see, where is the... Uh... Oh, there's something shooting at me from all angles at the moment. It's re there is one of the nice things about the game, is that even if you can't see them, you can idly point vaguely in their direction and wait till the reticule turns red. And at least that's where you know where they are. No We've been shot down. We're out of ammo again. Oh, but actually I saw some, some weapons cupboards down here. Um, uh, so what do we want? That, that... Is there another? Is there another one? There we go. Let's have the rifle. At least it's better than the needler. The needler used to be one of the one of the best weapons in the game, but it, it feels downpowered in in Halo Five. It feels downpowered. I couldn't tell you why, uh, but it just doesn't seem to be as effective. And I do remember that if you did kill somebody with a needler, they used to explode. Which they don't appear to do anymore. Um, or maybe it's because I haven't actually managed to kill anybody with the needler because I'm not that good. Ah, there we are. That seems to be how you reload. Bum bum. Go on. There we go. Ah. Oh, way. Go away. Oh, I can't appear to get past that person's shield. So what I'm going to have to do is take out this other guy up here that's causing me all kinds of hassle. And then solve it in the traditional way of smacking him with my fist until he dies. Go away, go away. Go away. And you... Um, let's see if we can get up here before. Um, look, go away. I want this gun. Careful. Disintegrated. Disintegrated. Let's see if I can just sit there and call somebody in and hope he can reconstitute me before they before they show back up again. There we are. Right. You come here. I, I utterly disagree with being... Stop running away! There's me chasing that guy, wondering it why he isn't dying. It's because I'm out of ammo. Oh, I see. So you've got to hit them with with much more. Let's just pile needles into this. That's a corpse. There you are. So that should cause him to explode. Instead, he's just sort of sat there sparking. go we got oh so that one sort of exploded pick up this shotgun that was a lot of purple coming from behind me a lot of purple uh where are they coming from <laughs> ow ow okay it was oh did you did you remove the mounted gun they've already removed the mounted gun so there was people over there, but they appear to have been taken care of. Okay. Uh, so are we going this way? Did anybody see where we were meant to be going while I was jumping all about the place? Anyone? No? All right. So let's, uh, let's head this way because all my minions. Aha! Drop pods! I guess this is the right way. 
Sí. Oh, and there is another gun. Um, operate. 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 Thank you. Alright, let's just detach it then. Here we come. Okay, so let's just take out these irritating things with the shields. Dump, 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 dump. It's always much more fun with this gun when they just sort of run at you. The shields really are no fun because you waste ammo on the shields. Wow! Uh, um, apparently I couldn't come back from that. I couldn't work out what the difference was with that amount of damage. Or maybe you only get the one respawn for your combat. Okay, so let's... Oh, wait. That's another thing that's a bit strange in Halo, is that headshots don't appear to actually uh, make a difference. Uh, or at least, they don't appear to make the kind of difference that they make in, say, uh, Destiny 2, or that they uh, made in uh, in Titanfall. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Okay, that was quite a bit of damage just there. That was quite a bit of damage. Let's see if we can pick up the gun again. Yes, we can. So where are all those? They're still there. Ah, he's still up. There he is. There he is. Okay. All right, that seems to do. Uh, switch to storm rifle. Switch to storm rifle. Let's see if we can find it up here. It is quite strange that headshots don't appear to make a difference because I feel it's, it is now a game staple. And you would think that Halo would have got on board with it, really. I'm going to get rid of the Needler and change for Plasma Rifle. Ammo up, Osiris. Ammo up, Osiris. Okay. So, Needlers, Needlers. Uh, well, let's... Um, so, we've got... We have a Sniper Rifle. Uh... Oh, I see. So we've changed. We also can't... Uh, another thing that appears to have changed is that we can't also have two weapons of the same type. So I, there's me trying to pick up both this rifle and the sniper rifle, and it doesn't appear to want to let me do it. I always got the, the, the feeling that we could do that, though maybe it's because I've been playing quite a raft of different games. So let's go and see. Ooh! Covenant flying in. Covenant flying in. Yes, casual, I can feel them. At casual, maybe they won't notice us. If they kill the Arbiter, they'll be well on the well, way. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Let's just act casual and maybe they won't notice that I'm just wandering around here. Ooh, what's this? We should hurry. Can I nick it? I cannot nick the fancy flying ship. Instead, they are merrily the attacking that beating. building over there. That's the Elder Council Chamber. Well, Elder Council the Chamber. The Arbiter is in there. Am I meant to be saving him? So Vale, uh, maintaining peace afterwards will be the hard part. So I guess what we're trying to do uh, is to actually go and say head towards that building. Now generally that would not be my advice to anybody in a war zone is when one building is under heavy bombardment and all you have is four of you don't run towards the building that is under heavy and bombardment. That's uh, not a way to survive. But it appears that in this game, because it is a hero game, that us four, us four are able to take this beating and survive. 
Uh, okay, fight us four. Mostly it's the other three who have to keep pulling my ass out of the fire. But at least, at least the theory is that uh, were we halfway decent and competent, uh, then then we could we could in fact uh, do that. Oh, so we found another one of these guns and are busy attracting all of the fire, all of the fire in it. And no ammo. Y yes, my life is and no ammo. That's that tends to be how this game goes for me. Um, ow! Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? I don't know what you are, but you look important. Go away. Now, there used to be in this game uh, swords. The thing about the swords was that you could just charge into battle and basically murder everything. I don't know what they've done with them. Clear the area. What the frell are they? What? Ow. What are they? Those are not fun things. Um, they also appear to do quite a bit of damage all in one go. Oh dear, that did not go my way. Let's see if we can... If they are going to let me be healed. Uh, no. No, they're not. No, they're not. They're going to stomp all over us. There we go, that's three down. Only one person left. Valiantly fighting off the two of them. And there we go. And we're back. So we're fighting these... Uh, plasma grenade them into. Wow! It just smacked away the plasma grenade. Just, nope, I don't want this. Bye bye. Wow, these things are big and mean and tough. And I don't actually want any part of them. So hopefully. And I'm out of ammo again. What is it with this game and not actually wanting to give you enough ammo for an encounter? There we go. Oh, I'm picking up another one. Wow! That was a phenomenal amount of damage. Just a ridiculous amount of damage. And he just took out two just there. He took out my entire team in one charge. Arrow puppies. I'm not sure that I would call them arrow puppies. Run away! Look at that! Two hits, and all of my all of my charges down. Well, while they stay there, let's just uh, let's just throw those into the. Um, no, I can't actually heal you. Um, let's try that again. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Ah, <laughs> I am not sure that I'm going to survive this. Um, let's see if we can distract them a little so while they heal. Uh, unfortunately, you can't actually teach the team this tactic of distraction and just to sort of run away. They are instead uh, brave warriors, which in this game seems to be... Uh, Code for stupid. Let's try this. Let's try shooting them. I, I vaguely remember somewhere that there is some place where they take extra damage, but I can't for the life of me. Oh, remember where? At least I am out of their main shot. There is the gun has respawned. So if I hide here, I might be able to pick this gun up and then use this pillar. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Not when he was hiding right next to me. And I've got to press. I'm not. I'm not going to press X yet because if I press X, they will do everything they possibly can to save me. Um, but what I will have to do. Oh, 
dear. No, that didn't work. They're all down. Right. Um, take five, I think. But then you didn't join in to watch me succeed, did you? You joined in to watch me die a hundred miserable ways. So we're just going to shoot this one in the head. Oh, uh, because it can't get to me. So this might be a way forward. Maybe if we concentrate, how do you concentrate your fire on one of them? I can't remember. There is a button that says everybody focus on this one. Uh, is it that? No. Because I've got a feeling if we could focus on one and take it out, then we might stand a better chance. Of succeeding, though not if I'm going to keep dying. Uh, there's got to be. What was that button? What was that button? It's high down here. That one. Is it that one? Is it that one? Is it that one? That one? That one? That one? Nope. None of those. None of those. None of those. Let's hide it down here. Ooh. Ah, things you shouldn't do when you find the rocket launcher is fire it right at them. It's not a thing you should do. Not a thing you should do. Rocket launchers are not close combat weapons. There we are, a tip for the future. Okay, so shoot and run. But what we did learn from that is sneaky sneaky through here there is in fact a rocket launcher boom 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 how many of these does it take be down get down and stay down down ah oh mummies oh monkeys I emptied an entire clip into that thing, and it did not go down. No worries, Lock. I got it you. did not go down. Okay, we are out of ammo in that. Um, where did they go? I don't know. I think they found me. Okay, let's just run away. Let's just run away. Okay, so that's an entire clip into that, into that, and it's still standing. It's still standing. Let's see if I can distract it away so that it gives our our companions time. Uh, all weapons out of ammo. We are so used to that weapon, that message. Don't run down here, gents. Don't 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 come this way. I am just trying to find another weapon. Anything with ammo, really. Anything. Let's just take that. That will do. Anything with ammo, anything with ammo. Let's see if we can get some headshots. Ooh. Did it did it just stumble? All clear. Is it down? It's down! It's down! We did it! We did it! I am uh, quite happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna take this gun because I think we're gonna need it. It's probably there, so ah, oh, so that you could actually. Uh, oh no, those are those ones are on our side. This is the problem when you've got aliens that are also bad guys and aliens that are good guys. Is that it's quite difficult to know which ones you're meant to be shooting. And the fact that they've come to join us shows that what's about to go down in here is going to be quite messy. With a bit of luck, we can let the aliens do all the mopping up. And I will just chug around here and uh, um, and pretend that what I'm doing is looking for the harder bad guy. But actually, what I'm actually doing is avoiding the fight. I am bravely, bravely flanking them. Bravely flanking, that's what I'm doing. Oh, wow, there is something quite heavy over there. There we are. 
I wasn't expecting it to actually be a bad side because I thought those last ones we fought were quite tough. I would have thought that this would have been a nice little hero battle so that we could actually feel like we're getting somewhere out of ammo. Out of ammo. What an awful statement. How much ammo is in these things? It never seems like a lot. See, now we've got those kind of aliens and the other kind of aliens all on our side. Uh, death dealing exoskeleton over there. Mobile armored death dealing exoskeleton. Mobile armored death dealing exoskeleton. Mobile armored death dealing exoskeleton. Um, where? Um, uh, drive? Oh, right. So, ah, there we are. We appear to have some sort of tank. That should, uh, that should make us feel a little better. Boom. It should make it feel better, but it doesn't because they appear to also have a tank up there. There's a lot of things going on up there, which appears to be shooting me. Ah, oh, there, there's their tank. I thought they had one. Um, I can't actually remember how to fire our weaponry. Um, what's down here? There we go. How long does it take for this thing to recharge? Just... Oh, go away. Now, one of these... There we are, let's see. Now, we can't shoot there. These, this, this tank uh, appears to fire quite slowly. Oh, I see. It's because the other guy has the other weapon. I only have the top weapon. Right, like you are. So, we just need to fight this one. And so, we'll just kind of... There we go. That seems to work quite well. Boom. There goes their tank. Uh, spirits coming in. Well, that's okay. I don't know what a spirit is, but we're doing okay with this with this tank. Let's wander down here. Oop, don't blow. Oops. <laughs> I didn't do it. Nobody saw me do it. I did not in any way blow them up. That was not me. It was somebody completely different. Uh, somebody throwing things. It, it can't have been me. I did not in any way just decimate my team. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I did not do it. Um, there we go. Ooh. Here's one of those awful puppies that uh, Elusive Elf was so pleased to see. The ones that took us a lot of time and energy to to wipe out who are merrily taking on a tank and are currently winning. That's never a good thing. Ow! What was out? And there's them over there as well. Now let's see, did we did we get them? Did we get them? I think we got them finally. Let's go down here. Can we can we get these people? Yeah, just sort of go boom and let's see if we can there we go, focus on that one. That's that one done. Now, I mean, I don't know how long we're going to be able to keep the tank. Especially because we are absolutely surrounded. Just going to pull back for a minute. Now, it does say boost, but that, that, that means jump. It's a lot of a lot of damage coming from that, whatever that is. Can't see it, but it it is packing a punch. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. So, as you can tell, I've been quite en engrossed in this driving a tank thing. But eventually you reach a stage where, uh, while this is a hover tank, and the hover tank are quite cool as a concept, Oh, and there's another one. One of the things that you can't really do with a hover tank 
is just run people over. You sort of float over them, which is less fun in a way. Now, the thing about the tank is that you can't actually uh, heal it. So either I successfully use it to take down this tank, or what's going to happen is I'm going to die as it explodes. Like that. <laughs> um, so let's try taking this tank down again and be mindful that there is, in fact, another one. Let's just, um, so we've got that one. And there was another one. Let's just sort of get down here. And just see if we can hide out for a bit while we try to find where that is coming from. There it is. Oh, no, that's one of ours. We appear to have nicked two tanks. That's good. That's coming from up there. So let's see if we can get those. Where do we get out? All right, I'm going to abandon that tank because I don't like its odds of surviving the next couple of hits. I'm going to go for a wander. Let's take this one out. There you are. So we've we've managed to make it through these through these ruins. What is interesting about the ruins, so you can see carved into the rock here, is that there doesn't seem to be quite a bit of traditional weathering. You wouldn't get uh, this kind of strange patterning that you've got here uh, uh, with traditional weathering. So we're probably looking at, I would guess, some sort of high acidity in the planet. Uh, which is ensuring that these things are uh, weathering in the way that they do. With part of, we've got partial wall crumbling here due to, uh, uh, to well, you, you'd guess the arrival of wind. But the odd thing is that even though these bits have weathered, do you see how the writing here, this detailing, is still actually quite quite good and these statues these ones up here when you're considering weather that is able to take those kinds of walls down these statues should also have suffered the same kind of damage and what is also interesting is you can see that this is uh, one of those aliens that are working with us one of one of these people here and it's holding that sword that i mentioned earlier now this is more how you'd expect to see the statue in uh, tiny little pieces uh, blown uh, uh, blown up by the wind. But what is also unusual here is that the statue appears to have collapsed down upon itself rather than, uh, if I can get up here, so the statue appears to have collapsed uh, backwards, which would mean that the rest of his body should be here. It isn't. Uh, it seems a, a rather unusual way uh, for these for these things to fall apart. It's uh, quite an interesting... Uh, and there's the rest, I would guess, the rest of the body. Uh, and again, here, despite the fact that it appears to have sort of embedded in the wall, uh, despite the fact that there is no real way that it could have done that. Very strange weathering pattern on these kind of things. Never play these games when you've actually done bits and pieces about archaeology. It doesn't doesn't lend it. It uh, doesn't lend it to it. There are some games though that really do. Uh, have a look at No Man's Sky for uh, some of the actual archaeology that you can do in in No Man's Sky, uh, where you can actually dig down and find new new buildings and new bits of information. And actually, reveal tiny little cities. Let's just pick this one out. Yeah. One of the uh, problems with uh, checkpointing games is that there never seems to be a sensible point at which uh, you can end the game. You're gonna just gonna say, "I'm gonna pause for a moment." Oh, uh, that was a surprise. Lots of suddenly arriving 
uh, shooty things out of nowhere. And some of our team have already appeared to have charged forwards. And uh, some of my team was doing their valiant best to save me. And they haven't managed to. Oh, well. I think what we'll do is we'll... Uh, let's try that one more time. And see if we can actually make it through this time. And uh, if not, we might just have to call it a night there. But I hope you uh, have enjoyed watching me fail at at this. That this has brought some joy to your your uh, little heart. And I sub I would guess uh, that this will be much easier if we uh, if we go flying in one of these in one of these little uh, hovery cars. Wow! Except complete. There we go. I'm flying in one of these hovery cars because the weaponry here is obviously going to be uh, much stronger. Uh, also tends to be infinite, which uh, is, as you can appreciate, uh, anything with infinite ammo is definitely my friend. Okay, let's see if we can just crisscross this battlefield with, uh, with some bullets. Though mostly what seems to be happening is uh, despite uh, the fact that I have superior firepower, they are still winning. They are indeed still winning. Go away. Go away. Go away. Yeah. Where is that? There we are. Stop shooting at me. Stop shooting at me. And you also can also stop shooting at me. That would be... Don't drive over the guy with the bombs. That would be a bad idea. No, he's still alive. Yeah, go away. And all of you, because you're not on my side. All of you, because you're not on my side. We are you, and you. All of these people, presumably standing ceremoniously um, on the stairs. They appear to have taken up uh, the honor guard kind of position either side of the stairs. So let's see, have we got any more for any more? No, well, let's go up these stairs and see if we extract with the Arbiter. Okay, well, let's just sort of open fire in here. But the joy of these little zoomy things is that, providing you don't let them um, uh, actually get on top of them, uh, you can actually do quite a bit of damage with them. Ah, now do you remember that, that glowy sword? Well, there it is. I was hit uh, quite a lot with it. And it's uh, done quite a number on my ship. Well, but the joy is... Oh, I just run him over. Alright, so... Anybody left? Anybody left? Cover's heading this way. Alright, so I suppose we've got to leave that. But I think what we will do, if we can is uh, let's pick up the glowy sword. Because the glowy sword, in th you'd think, doesn't have any ammo uh, requirements. It sadly does. But uh, it, it, it well, feels like it shouldn't. Arbiter. Oh. Ready for extraction. Um, what is the meaning of well, there's the Arbiter. He appears to have been um, quite happy about murdering those people. And there we go. And we are out. Heading off for another another day. So thank you all for joining me here on uh, here on Zen Plays Games Badly. I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching me fail time and time again, and I hope that this has been entertaining for you. With a bit of luck, we'll uh, see you again. Remember to like that follow button. And uh, again, if you do want to join us over on YouTube, you can find us on bit.ly forward slash Zen Plays Games. Hit that like and subscribe button over there. And of course, remember to hit the little bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. Hope you've enjoyed what you've seen here. Remember, I've been Zen. You've been awesome. Good night. <laughs>